So today's presentation will be on keyboard shortcuts for Windows and Mac. What is a hotkey or keyboard shortcut? A hotkey, also referred to as a keyboard shortcut, triggers an action by typing specific keys on the keyboard. These specific actions can make using your PC computer more efficient and allow you to easily perform a task. These hotkeys require the control key displayed as CTRL found in the bottom left corner of the keyboard. This keyboard layout may not look like your layout, but all keyboards have the control button, usually in the bottom left, but sometimes it might be in a different place. In order to use a hot key, you must first press the control key and then a different key while still holding down control. Windows shortcuts for PC computers. The Windows key is a standard key of most keyboards that use a Windows operating system, sorry. It is labeled with the Windows logo and is usually placed somewhere between the control and alt key on the left side of the keyboard. This hotkey brings you to your desktop by minimizing all your open tabs. By clicking it again, it closes your desktop by bringing you back to your open tabs. This is done by clicking the Windows key and D. Lock your computer. To quickly secure, com secure your computer, click the Windows key and L to bring you to your lock screen. This is a good idea before stepping away from your computer to protect your data. File Explorer. To open a document or file, you can click the Windows key and E to open your file search. General keyboard shortcuts. These shortcuts work across many common programs and apps, including most Microsoft Office applications. Copying. Copying a word, paragraph, or picture can be done by simultaneously cl clicking the Control key and the C key. This will copy whatever you had selected in order to later place it in a different location. Pasting. After you have copied your desired item, you can paste it in a, in a new location by, con sorry, by clicking Control and V. Selecting. This action highlights everything on your current folder, document, or page. This can be done by clicking Control and A. Cutting. If you, if you accidentally place something or if it is in the wrong spot, you can cut out the object by selecting and clicking Control and X. This will delete the item, but also copy it if you wish to place it somewhere else. Saving. To save an open document, file, or web page, you can click Control and S. This saves your work so you don't lose it. Undo. We all make mistakes. If you wish to cancel your last action, you can click Control and Z to undo your mistake. Printing. To easily print your current document or page, you can simultaneously click Control and P to print. This will direct you to your printing menu. Opening and closing. To open a new window, document, or tab, click Control and N. But to close your document, window, or tab, you can, you can click Control and W. Closing your document will ask you first will ask you first to save to ensure you don't lose your data. Control Alt Delete. This combination of three keys on a PC keyboard, Control Alt and Delete, held down simultaneously will close the programs you are using, close your active window, restart your computer. Show a window security box with several menu options. 
and the queue, the computer will shut down. So as you can see, it's this option right here that's um, formatted as ALT. Web browser shortcuts. Here are some other shortcuts you might use in web browsers like Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. Refreshing the page. By clicking Control and F5, you can easily refresh the page without moving the mouse. If that doesn't work because of your type of computer, you can click Control and R. So F5 will usually be at the upper hand of the keyboard as seen here. Zooming in or out. If something is too small, you can zoom in by clicking Control and plus. To zoom out to the original size, click Control and minus. You can continuously zoom in or zoom out to find your ideal size on the page. Switch your tab. This hotkey switches between one browser tab to another by clicking Control and tab. Open a closed tab. This shortcut requires three keys being clicked simultaneously. If you closed a tab recently, clicking Control, Shift, and T can reopen your last closed tab in a new window. Create a bookmark. A bookmark saves a specific web, page, sorry, web page so you can access it faster and easier. To create a new bookmark, click Control and D. Microsoft Word keyboard shortcuts. Here are a few common shortcuts you might use for Microsoft Word. Bolding, underlining, and italics. To bold your text, click Control and B. To underline your text, you would click Control and U. And to italicize your text, you would click Control and L, or I, sorry. Left and right aligning. You can align your text on the left side of the page or the right side of the page. To align your writing on the left side, click Control and L. To align on the right side, click Control and R. Centering and justifying. To align, to align your paragraphs in the center, click Control and E. To justify, align your paragraph, meaning that your writing is aligned on both the left and right side, click Control and J. Hitting the hotkey twice for right, justified, and center align will switch your writing back to left alignment. Hyperlink. A hyperlink is a reference to a website that you can access by clicking. To create a hyperlink, you can control a K in Microsoft. Hotkeys. The shortcuts we will list are from Mac computers. The main key you will use to access your hotkeys is the command button in the bottom left. In order to use a hotkey, you must first press command and then a different key while still holding down command. General keyboard shortcuts. These shortcuts work across many common programs and apps. Copying. Copying a word, paragraph, or picture can be done by simultaneously clicking the command key and the C key. This will copy whatever you had selected in order to later place it in a different location. Pasting. After you have copied your desired item, you can paste it in a new location by clicking command and V. Selecting. This action highlights everything on your current folder, document, or page. This can be done by clicking Command and A. Cutting. 
If you accidentally place something or if it is in the wrong spot, you can cut out the object by selecting it and clicking Command and X. This will delete the item, but also copy it if you wish to place it somewhere else. Saving. To save an open document, file, or web page, you can click Command and S. This saves your work so you don't lose it. Undo. We all make mistakes. If you wish to cancel your last action, you can click Command and Z to undo your mistake. Printing. To easily print your current document or page, you can simultaneously click Command and P to print. This will direct you to your printing menu. Opening and closing. To open a new window, document, or tab, click Command and N. But to close your document, window, or tab, you can click Command and W. Closing your document will ask you first to save to ensure you don't lose your data. Force quit. The combination of three keys on a Mac keyboard, Command, Option, and ESC held down simultaneously will, up, will open up the force quit application window. You will be able to select any application and shut it down even if it is frozen. Switch windows. To jump between different open windows on your computer, click Command and Tab. Find. In most applications, you can search the page for words or phrases by clicking Command and F. This will pull up a little search bar and you can use it to search the page. Lock your computer. To quickly secure your computer, click the Command, Control, and Q to bring you to your lock screen. This is a good idea before stepping away from your computer to protect your data. Log out. To quickly log out of your computer, click the Command, Shift, and Q. Spotlight Search. To open your Spotlight Search, simply click Command and Space. Finder. To open a document or file, you can click the option Command and Space to open your file search. web browser shortcuts. Here are some other shortcuts you might use in web browsers like Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. Refreshing the page. By clicking Command and R, you can easily refresh the page without moving the mouse. Opening new windows and tabs. To open a new window of your browser, click Command and N. To open a new tab in the same window of your browser, click Command and T. Zooming in or out. If something is too small, you can zoom in by clicking Command and Plus. To zoom out to the original size, click Command and Minus. You can continuously zoom in or out to find your ideal size on the page. Switch your tab. This hotkey switches between one browser tab to another by clicking Command, Option, and left slash right arrow. Open a closed tab. This shortcut requires three keys being clicked simultaneously. If you close a tab recently, clicking Command, Shift, and T can reopen your last closed, sorry, closed tab in a new window. Create a bookmark. A bookmark saves a specific web page so you can access it faster and easier. To create a new bookmark, click Command and D. Common writing keyboard shortcuts. Here are a few common shortcuts you might use for Microsoft Word. Bolding, underlining, and italics. To bold your text, click Command and B. To underline your text, click Command and U. To italicize your text, click Command and I. 
Left and right aligning. You can align your text on the left side of the page or the right side of the page. To align your writing on the left side, click Command and L or Command Shift and L. To align on the right side, click Command and R or Command Shift and R. Centering and justifying. To align your paragraphs in the center, click Command and E or Command Shift and E. To justify, align your page, meaning that your writing is aligned on both the left and right side, click Command and J or Command Shift and J. Hitting the hotkey twice for right, justified, and center align will switch your writing back to left alignment. Hyperlink. A hyperlink is a reference to a website that you can access by clicking. To create a hyperlink, you can click Command and K in Microsoft. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one forum session. And that concludes today's presentation.